Boys. Hello, boys. I'm feeling a bit dusty today. I'm feeling a bit dusty. I have a magic find build I want to go over today. Um, so, if some of you boys have been um, <coughs> catching my stream, you would have seen uh, the magic finding that I've been doing on this little boy. Um, so, this is a variation of gear that I have on my throw sorceress. Now, I know I don't have any knife to throw, and that's okay. Alright, so technically, technically, it's not a throw sorceress magic find build unless I do, oh, chuck one of these on, okay, which you very well can. But, the main thing I'm using with this is I'm farming low level areas, maybe normal, maybe nightmare for like, charms, skillers, grand charms, uh, hell act one, other small areas that I can maybe single target and hit, but I don't really need throw. So, with this boys, we have... 542% magic find and we can definitely get over 600 with the place with the bits of gear we can replace so I'm gonna go over it here show show kind of what I farm and then how easy it is to kill shit yeah there we go um so I'm still level 93 this is probably the end of my pushing levels and all that on my throw sorceress I'm not sure when I'll get this video out maybe after I've already started my single barbarian but I'll explain more of that when you see it on stream or whenever I make update videos on what I'm doing with that. So my stats are still whatever, they're about the same, decent chunk into energy with 100 vitality, res is good with what we have. Now poison is lower, I don't tend to farm areas where I need poison res, although I know it is definitely more important than others when we're using energy shield on our sorceress, but yeah, this is not a build that is going to farm high, well, high resistant, high damage output mobs, like we're not going to do Chaos Sanctuary with this, I don't care, okay, this is for fast and easy bloody walnut brain farming, okay, so, skills are about the same, I just have frozen armor, all I give a fuck about here, right, we've got mastery, thunderstorm is cool, and then static field, so we can static everything down while, uh, holy shock is applying, that's the idea, okay, we've still got enchant too, but who really cares, so, this is really going to function by just relying solely on our uh, two dull dreams. So, we've got level 30 Holy Shock, which is going to pulse everything down. We have Static, which is going to touch everything on the screen. Because if we look at this, boys, uh, 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 tw 24, uh, 24 yards, my guy, the bloody neighbors are going to feel that. Four houses down. It's going to be brilliant, okay? Um, Mercenary is still the same, we've got the attack rating for him and for me, I suppose, and it's just the same setup, I don't really change it specifically, yeah? Uh, gear. Now, this is the main thing that I kind of shift out with this type of build. Now, obviously, we don't have war strikes, there's no magic find on war strikes. Oh, <laughs> scratch your chin. Um, so what we do there, boys, is we get, uh, the, 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 um, this. Yes. Six ist in a phase blade. We already have enough dexterity for my war strikes, so it makes sense to use a phase blade over, I think it's at 2.5 APS with, you know, minimal increased attack speed. So we can still slap for a decent amount of damage. If I change this to attack, I can show you exactly what that gets up to, which is 46k, boys. Okay, for single target. 180 MF. Now, dual dreams. There we go. Okay, 15 holy shock. That stacks on both of those. They also roll up to about... 25 or 30 percent magic find i think so pretty pretty good on both of those okay now we've got three piece talrashes for decent plus skills and magic find with fcr okay so we've got two on here with 65 mf we've got the fucking plate which gives us 88 which is great and 10 fcr and then 10 fcr here on a perfect 15 mf tiles belt all right so we, of course we want to try and hit of course we want to try and hit the 10 fcr breakpoint which is at 37, so we want over 40. So the other two rings we have are Magic Find FCR as the priority, okay? We've got 10 FCR and 7, 10 FCR and 15. I don't happen to have anything else with Magic Find gloves. I threw out all my chance guards because I don't give a shit, but that would be a better upgrade here. I've got these with a bit of attack speed, knockback and 18 MF from what I have been using to farm, and that's absolutely fine. Um, last stream, I ended up finding some of these in Nightmare Cows, which was pretty fucking sick. Um, 15 MF, we've got dual res with 38 fire, 26 lightning. I know I don't necessarily need it on this build, but damn. 4 decks and 30 faster run walk, which is brilliant. Brilliant. Now, 
we've got MF charms decked up the wazoo all the way through here. If I get more small charms, I can put them in. Um, but be mindful of if you're doing something like this, relying on just holy shock from dual dream farming. Be mindful. Do you have enough damage output compared to you know MF charms that you have? Because I mean, I can drop all these, but am I going to have enough damage if I drop those three? Because it, you can't actually see the damage here from your pulses. So just be wary of that if you're going to, you know, swap them out. Other than my skillers for these, I've got just my geeds at 37, boys. Yeah. That's about us. On Switch, I still got my CTA with my NG shield. And then so from that, boys, I'm going to farm a couple of places. Starting with Black Marsh because there is minimal resistant mobs in here. So... Let's buff myself up and I'll show you how easy this is. We're, like, I'll come home a few streams and I'll just put this on and man, I can't be bothered thinking about what I'm farming so I'll just teleport around. All I do is hold down Q, static, boom, shit dies. Brilliant. Cool. Hold down static, boom, shit dies. You might be wondering why am, why am I using static? Like what's the point in that? It hits everything on screen, so it has a wider radius than the actual Holy Shock Pulse itself, I believe. Um, and onto- oh, Broadsword. Lightning Immune, fucking useless. I don't have my, um, Crack of the Heaven on, I took that off because I was doing cows. That's aside the point. Um, it pretty much, by the time I can get a couple of statics off, it adds up to the same amount of damage if a Holy Shock did an extra pulse by itself, you know? So I might as well just keep staticking. It, it, by the time the enemy dies, you've done enough damage to have a third Holy Shock Pulse anyway. You know? It's just such a big brain thing to do. And what else am I going to do anyway? Besides teleport around and just smack some dude in the face like this. Which I very well can for Elite Packs. And that is what I want to show next. Because I want to go over to the pits. Because that is one place I enjoy farming in this build. <laughs> Act 1 is just such a beautiful place to farm, boys. So if there's more than like 6 mobs on the screen, then I just static. If there's an annoying elite pack, then I can tele stop them, or just simply walk over and slap them with my 180 MF phase blade. Yeah? Because from the dual dreams, we still do over 46k damage, boys. It's ridiculous. Now, uh, with this current setup, I don't have Cannot Be Frozen. I don't necessarily care. It doesn't affect uh, faster cast rate output, which you guys know. Uh, but, yeah. If you're going to slap dudes a bit more, if you're going to rely more on your melee damage when you're doing this Magic Find variant, then perhaps you won't Cannot Be Frozen. You can simply drop just a, a couple of bits or just one ring and get some MF there. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's whatever, boys. It's whatever. Static couple of pulses and you get a bottle rock skin it's easy as that boys okay bingo bongo minion scale so check that i think one of the boys was after a plus six and overhead wow not too bad not too bad i have been farming a bunch of nightmare cows with this which have been kind of fun really just picking up all the small charms all the grand charms Picking up the amulets too, because they can actually roll to plus three. And it's been kind of good. I want to clear this, and I'm going to make a new game. I'm going to do Nightmare Cows just to finish off, and that'll be what I'll show, because this is all I have really been farming, to be honest. There you go, boys. So that was Hell Players 1 Cows. Okay? Pretty simple. Let's go to Nightmare, and then I'll show you how it functions on Cows. One, one part of farming cows, I have ended up switching to war strikes occasionally on probably P6 to P8. Because I found that at that point I could maybe get a, a static or two off and then I can throw and pierce and that's going to help, you know, blow up the pack. Because don't forget about the Novas that are synergized too with our max static. But I find until that point I'm kind of okay with what I have. Um, but I will grab my War Strikes too, just so I can show you what that's like in comparison. Just drop that, drop this, get this, do that, do this one. Oh, 
this and then we'll pick that up and then we're good to go boys okay so buff myself up first a little bit of that a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of that this one and then we're good to go there we go nightmare cows not too bad obviously a little bit slower but the drops here are a lot more consistent you can still find stuff that can last you well into the end game of hell such as this soj there is no way i find a soj wall while recording a video there's just no way okay it's a model hero <laughs> pretty pretty safe pretty easy sacred feathers we still get elite bases you know i enjoy this and i can't be bothered thinking about what i'm farming i'll just come here and just teleport around in static it's just two hotkeys that's it boys great applause there you go it's great it's good fun um i'm going to switch this to um throw so i can show you what that is like let's grab this assault helmet why is it impossible boys because my phase blade okay so let's check this helm absolute dog shit love that all right let's go back Ah, there we go. It's a good group. As you can see, when the Nova procs, it is pretty decent. We do lose the MF, but it's not too bad. Here we are, double proc Nova. So these Nova, this Nova does like over a thousand. I think close to 1,300, 1,400 damage. We do have conviction on as well, so it's goddamn worth it, boys. Okay. More noticeable when we farm a place like this on Nightmare with lower light pool enemies than if we're on Hell, obviously. Some of you are probably wondering, can this kind of function in Hell? It can. It is definitely slower to do so. You'd probably want to static and have more damage on your gear, um, but you, you can you can do it. But I don't want to drop that much magic find, and I'd much rather just turn my brain off and then farm easier areas, such as this. There you go. There's a bit of an idea for you what my magic finding has been like on this build. I've pretty much been doing pits, been doing nightmare cows, I've been doing normal cows to try and find jewels to finish my starter kit of poison damage jewels on my barbarian, so that was fun. You guys have probably seen that by now. But yeah. Hope you boys have been doing well. Um, I'll try and get to showing a max damage showcase of this in a few different areas for you. Just to show you the peak end of this throw sort because it's gone pretty damn nice. Have a good one boys.